Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. So I have a little project to do here. This is my grounding strap for my workbench. So this is what you put on your wrist to ground yourself out. And uh, this end has a snap on it. I guess it's a pretty common setup. But this end has a banana plug and an alligator clip. And so what I want to do is I put a snap like this on my anti-static mat on my workbench. I showed you that in an earlier video. So what I'm going to do is take one of these alligator clips and turn it into a snap. Because I like the idea of being able to clip this onto something if I can't put it on my bench. But if I'm using it on my bench, I'd rather plug this into a snap. And so what I did was I took one of these and ground off the head and the bottom of the little rivet there. And then I took that piece and uh, popped the rivet out. You can see there, that's the one half of the alligator clip. Then I took the other half and used my uh, cutters here to cut off the uh, tooth part of the clip. And then I hammered it flat, drilled a little hole in the middle, and then Let's see, I think I'm going to put it this way. So I have a little snap kit here. And if I put the snap on like that, that gets me the snap with a banana jack. This is your banana plug. So I need a snap. So I just made myself this lock to hold this little uh, die in there. It comes with this punch that you put in the middle there. And let's see if we can want to mash this down all at once. Check it. You don't want to uh, smash these too much because you can drive the, uh, the little head of the snap through there sometimes if you go a little too hard. It's always easier to tap it a little more if you need to. Good, and I think I'm going to give that a little bit of a bend and then we can go inside and I'll see if that works on my bench so let's go take a look at that okay now we're back inside here so here's the little stud that's uh, punched into the anti-static mat there yeah there we go look at that, that should give me an electrical contact there and then I can slide my wrist strap in there Okay, here we go. I got my meter on the ohms range, and just to check, make sure the uh, that's at 10k, about 12, 55k, and then it's over here. I get about 360k. So I have these separate sections of mat all joined together, so they're they're not like perfectly connected, but I think they're good enough because on these grounding straps, you end up with about a mega ohm. So there's one meg over there. Yeah, I've got maybe 1.4 megs on the far side. On the near side, I've got just right at one meg. So it looks like I'm good to go on my anti-static mat and my grounding strap. And then I still have my uh, alligator clip that I can plug in if I need to. Now all I have to do is I have to get a ground wire run into the bench here. Because I've got the other right up there is my grounding snap and there'll be a little ground wire that'll run down to the uh, grounding wire that I bring into the house here. So what I'm going to actually do, because my outlets here are not grounded, it's a mid-50s vintage house, so they only have grounding in the kitchen. And I think the garage has ground wires, but the rest of the house is ungrounded. I'm going to be running 12 volt DC power over here to power my bench, so I'm going to actually run a 10-2 Romex cable over, so I'll have 10 gauge wire for the DC power, plus and minus, and then I'll bring over a ground connection from up in the attic. There's a ground wire that was run to the furnace, so I'll actually tie into that ground wire, then I'll bring the ground wire that's in the Romex cable over here, and then I'll have a properly grounded uh, workbench here. So kind of killing uh, two birds with one stone. If I 
get the 10-2 Romex. It's got the hot neutral wire, and then it has the bare copper ground wire. So that way I can just run one cable and I get power and ground. Yep, that's uh, next on the list. Finish getting everything grounded up. And in the meantime, be sure to rate, comment, and share. And subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.